10 News reporter Rachel Lucas watched the announcement with Carillion doctors today and has more on how this could impact our region. Today, a presidential address that resonates across the nation and even here at home. What scares me is how this has escalated so much. Jeanine Underwood, executive director of the Bradley Free Clinic, would know. Losing her own son to the disease, she now works to help others through the HOPE initiative. Launched a year ago, they've already treated 140 patients battling drug addictions here from our area. People are dying. If you look at those numbers, if you total up in the last few years how many Americans have died, over 200,000, that would wipe out the entire Roanoke Valley. Despite the life-saving work they do. It scares me how we're going to get out of this. You know, funding is absolutely needed. Funding is hard to come by. She hopes Trump's announcement will bring that money to our community. Everything from prevention to recovery, we have to cover all of it. Um, I think it's going to take decades to get out of this. The federal government is aggressively fighting the opioid epidemic. We watched the announcement with expert and Carilion Clinic doctor John Burton. He really took a lot of effort, as I believe the First Lady did as well, to really take away the stigma of addiction. He also noted President Trump mandating certain training requirements for all prescribers, which Burton believes will be easily accomplished on the state level. But like Underwood, Burton says funding from the president will be the key to making a difference. So any step forward, we'd like to see really aggressive steps to funding. In Roanoke, Rachel Lucas, 10 News, working for you.